Hey Lawn Care Nation, in this video we're gonna talk about how you can make $500 a day in your lawn care business. Coming up. Hey Lawn Care Nation, in this video we're gonna talk about how you can make $500 a day in your lawn care business. Now before we dive into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you click that notification bell so that you're notified right away when I make videos like this that have the potential to make your business grow. Now make sure you watch this video all the way through because towards the end I'm going to share three tips to help get your lawn care business to that $500 a day threshold. So when you think about making $500 a day with lawn mowing, it can seem like a really far-fetched idea. And uh, believe me, no one knows this more than I do. I used to think exactly the same. And uh, what I discovered was that I was just in an employee mindset. In fact, I can think back to one of the very first jobs that I got where I was a full-time employee for somebody else, working 40 hours a week, and uh, I was making about $10 an hour at that job. And after the very first two weeks, I got my first paycheck. I went to my truck, I sat down, I opened up the envelope and looked at the pay stub. And after deductions, I was left with about $500. Uh, and I just remember being so depressed looking at that and thinking, are you serious? I just came here every day, every morning, worked all day long for two weeks straight, and I'm left with $500. That's all I get to take home. Uh, and I just felt so depressed. And to think at that moment that uh, in the future, I would be able to make $500 a day uh, versus $500 for two weeks uh, would have been just something that I wouldn't even be able to comprehend uh, at that uh, moment in time. But the truth is making $500 a day with a lawn care business is an absolute reality. In fact, it should be something that is pretty effortless to do with some planning. So let's look at some of the numbers. So in the area that I service, my average mowing price is $50 per cut per week. Now that doesn't mean that every lawn is a $50 cut. Uh, some of the lawns may be $40 a cut, but some of the lawns are $60 or $70 a cut. I have some that go as high as $120 per cut. But when you look at uh, the uh, total amount of income earned in one day and you divide it by the amount of lawns that I cut in that day, it comes out to about $50 a cut. Now at $50 a cut, you'll see and you do the math, it only takes 10 lawns uh, in a day to make that $500 threshold. Absolutely easily attainable as a single owner operator to mow uh, only 10 lawns in a single day. Now you're saying to yourself, what if my average mowing price is not $50? What if it's lower? What if it's you know $10 lower? It's $40 uh, you know, per cut that it works out to. Well, at $40, that only works out to 12 and a half lawns that you would have to mow. Only two and a half lawns more to hit that uh, $500 a day uh, threshold. Now you're saying, well, what if I'm even lower? What if my average price is $30 per cut? That's all you know we get in the area that I service. Well, at $30 a cut, you would still only need to do 16 and a half lawns uh, you know, in a day to hit that $500 threshold. Still absolutely uh, you know, attainable uh, you know, for a single owner operator. Consider the fact that uh, in a day where I'm doing, say, 10 lawns, I'm only working from about 9 o'clock in the morning to about 2 in the afternoon or 3 in the afternoon to get those uh, 10 lawns done. So, you know, still plenty of time in the day uh, to do, you know, up to 16 lawns as a single owner operator. Now you're saying to yourself, well, you know, I live in a really uh, sort of depressed uh, economic area and uh, you know the average mowing price here is only $25 uh, per cut. Well at $25 per cut it would take you 20 lawns uh, in a day to make that $500 threshold. Is this even possible? Is it attainable? Absolutely. In fact, I know a, a guy here uh, locally that does 22 lawns uh, in a single day of the exact same size lawns that I do, uh, and he's a single owner operator. He does them by himself. And uh, I can assure you that he doesn't charge anywhere close to $25 uh, for his cut. He's in that $50 uh, per cut range. So he's making way more, but is showing that, uh, you know, 22 lawns as a single owner operator is still absolutely doable. 
So as you can see, earning $500 a day with a lawn care business is absolutely attainable as a single owner operator. In fact, that's only talking about the mowing side. That's not taking into consideration all of the add-on services that you can add to that base mowing service. Things like uh, uh, fertilizers, aerations, liming, uh, and when you take all that sort of stuff into consideration, there's days where I've made triple or quadruple that $500 a day by myself as a single owner operator. Something I would have never imagined working as an employee for somebody else. So next I'm gonna share three tips with you to help get your business to that $500 a day threshold. So tip number one is always do your best work. The results will speak for themselves in terms of customer retention and satisfaction, as well as uh, customer referrals to new potential customers who are already impressed with the level of quality that you provide and already know the premium price that you are charging for that level of quality. I was talking to somebody today about uh, doing their best work and I said that you know at the end of every job that I do each and every week, I'm always taking pictures of the property to post on Instagram because it always looks so good. And even though I took that same picture the week before and the week before that, I still pull out my camera because there's so much pride that I've put into doing that job, to laying those crispy edges, to doing those straight stripes, that I'm just so proud of how that job looks. If you're not at that level, if you're not willing to share your work publicly in the form of pictures on social media, then it's time to step up your game. Tip number two is focus on root density. So many times I see a new lawn care company uh, getting its start and they're servicing properties all over the city. In fact, there's so many times where I see uh, lawn care companies advertising and uh, they are working in multiple cities and they're uh, advertising in multiple cities and it may be a single owner operator or maybe a guy, uh, two man crew or three man crew and they're all trying to get uh, you know work done all over multiple cities and uh, you waste so much time in traffic you may have uh, employees in the truck with you and you're paying them to sit in traffic with you uh, and your marketing efforts are not uh, getting the traction uh, that they could if you focused in on one specific area. Uh, when I decided to do this and I focused in on a specific community in the city that I live in, I saw my business explode. Um, you know, you get that root density, you get that brand recognition. Instead of being at one property, uh, you know, for uh, 30 minutes or an hour and then going across town, you're only moving a block away and maybe doing the next property. Those same neighbors, those same people driving in and out of those uh, streets and those communities are seeing your trailer multiple times a day. And then they're seeing it, uh, you know, at the local gas station that they go to, at the grocery store that they go to, at the hardware store or the landscape supply place. Your truck is being viewed multiple times in that community and you're going to be the first uh, company that they call when they think of, uh, uh, you know, needing a landscape or a lawn care business uh, for their own properties. So focus in on root density. So tip number three, try to focus in on nice neighborhoods. Neighborhoods where it's evident that they take pride in their community and that they take pride in their own properties. This is gonna make it a lot easier to hit that $500 a day uh, threshold. In fact, you'll probably pass uh, that threshold uh, in these types of neighborhoods. Think about it, if you're uh, working in a neighborhood where say lawns are overgrown, edges aren't done on all of the houses across uh, you know, the neighborhood, uh, fences are rotting and falling apart, maybe there's car parts uh, everywhere, uh, you know, those types of areas, those types of clients are gonna be uh, less likely to sign up for things like weekly service, to have things like fertilizer, aeration, um, hedge trimming, all of those extras 
that are not only going to help you uh, get to that uh, $500 day, uh, dollar a day threshold, but are going to get you well past that $500 a day uh, threshold. In those nice neighborhoods, it's a much easier sell. And if you stick to tip number one, where you are, uh, you know, always doing your best work, always being, uh, you know, proud of the work that you do, you're going to fit in really well in these types of neighborhoods because that is uh, what they are looking for. They uh, want people that are proud of the work that they do. They want to have the nicest looking uh, properties uh, in the neighborhood. And they're not, um, you know, uh, shy uh, from paying for that level of service and having all of those extras, the hedge trimming, the aeration, all of the fertilizers, pressure washing, a lot of stuff uh, that you can focus in on a single client versus having hundreds of clients as a single owner operator uh, to get to a certain income level. You can have a lot fewer clients and have and earn a really good living with those types of clients. So that's it for this one, guys. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know any of your additional tips for uh, reaching or attaining that $500 a day threshold in a lawn care business. If you like this type of how to start a lawn care business type video, I'll leave another one for you to watch up here in this corner, or I'll leave one of my other videos for you to watch up here in this corner. So that's it for this one, guys. Here's to wishing you guys all overwhelming success and freedom in your lawn care business. Bye for now.